Today I want to go over my cardboard Real War II fighter planes. These are earlier projects of mine that I have done before. And it's basically made out of cardboard and foam board representing the Real War II era style planes. Now, they may not look like the typical U.S. and German or U.S. and Japanese planes and their counterparts. However, these two are earlier designs of mine and are based after my childhood G.I. Joe timeline, basically. For example, this plane representing the green, the two different types of green, is uh, called the Humunculi. And their symbol is is three cross lances making an H, and it's basically just a um, my version of the homunculi from Full Metal Alchemist. So that's what inspired me on that when I was younger, and that's where all the like supernatural or monster figures of my collection. That's the organization they would belong to. That's the pilot I'm going to be using for this particular movie if I ever make it and uh, I used them before in a movie I never published it yet though but his right arm actually gets blown off that's why it's a different color and the other group is the Neo Droid Republic this is an old plane but one of my most recent versions of it and the neo joy republic or ndr is basically a a combination of the neo sapiens from kashern and the droid army from those early 2000 star wars movies the pilot for this one is actually one of the recent versions of the gi joe bat robot soldier Okay, first we'll start with this one. Now, this is an actual recycled plane from another movie I made. You can see that it has been patched from shooting it with a uh, air rifle to make the effects, but I refurbished it. Let me get the landing gear out of the way first. This is just two, like, ketchup caps with a bamboo skewer as the leg of it. And when you flip the plane around, they fit into those little holes and it will actually prop it up a little bit. This one is modeled more after like a Mustang or a Warhawk, a more sleek look to it. And then the fantasy part would be the wings. I put more of like a almost like a feathering effect on them. That's a leftover little mini speaker. I'd I'm trying to use up all these extra parts I have. So it just looked cool there. I know it looks like a jet turbine, but, but it fits. I gave it a two-tone, light green, dark green. Here where it says Skylofter, once again, I'm using all my old parts I have. So I have these old stickers from Model Rockets. A matter of fact, I do have a model rocket video on my channel where I shoot a model rocket off one of these cardboard planes. For the fast back effect, like a fast back Mustang, I just made a just a piece of cardboard and rolled it to fit the same line as this canopy. And the canopy is one of those small plastic eggs you get like in front of big lots or family dollar where you put 50 cents in and you get a little toy so i just halved it it makes a canopy inside i just cut a uh, oval 
and these figures can fit inside of it like so and it can you can close that on top of them the upgrade I did on this recycled one is I put in actual felt lining because I have tons of it for the front face I wanted to try some painting skills so I did one of those cool shark mouths and I got these googly eyes the gift store googly eyes and I put it on there but I painted it and it came out looking like mascara even though I was trying to trying to give it a mean look this front part is a Gatorade cap and the second part of it is the bottom part of an Easter egg the more rounder part of the Easter egg and for the propeller it's just a thin piece of cardboard from like you know like a Ritz cracker box with a nail placed into it to hold it there and it actually spins now the chrome paint here is actually enamel which looks so much better it looks so much more real than acrylic but this is all acrylic on the cardboard because it it really likes to attach itself to cardboard or like matted surfaces now this one he fits in there as well as the other one and it has the same fastback feature although this one I had more time to put more features first off this one's modeled after the more blunt solid look as the wildcat the US wildcat the main wings and tail wings are more squared off it's got a more bulky look this one actually made a place for the landing gear it's actually the top of the other one so I, I really used as many parts as I could for this and didn't waste anything and the leg on this one is a popsicle stick that fits into the notch here the guns on this one are just nails that I put in well these ones are ribbed or serrated so they give more so they give more animation to it by just standing still. It looks like they could move in and out. This one I forgot to mention just has the shish kebab skewer again. But it painted um, enamel silver. This one has the felt interior as well. And this organization's color being black and silver. I used up those model rocket decals again. This one is from the High Flyer. Put the logo underneath so you can see that. And these are also on the High Flyer decals. They're like just these little triangles. But look how cool that looks. It almost looks like the exhaust coming out, doesn't it? The front on this has a more snub look to it. It's not as stealth-like or pointing out that is the bottom that red there is the bottom of one of these toy containers and and I put the nail on the front again with some super glow so it spins this one has four and that one has the two but the coolest upgrade I gave this one is is that that spike isn't just a sight for the gun it is actually holding a projectile on it that is holding in a co2 container for like a uh for like a bb gun so you can dive bomb like this in the movie and when you pull this up it'll fall out i'll give you a demonstration
So you can see the effect of that. The higher you drop it, the more of an impact it will make. I mean, they have some weight to it. So if you got your little vehicles and stuff set out, this will make a little bit of a shockwave on your carpet. So there it is. This is two easy World War II replica fighter planes you can make out of anything reasonably easy to get a ha uh, hold of or be replaced by other objects. So kids out there, there is no excuse not to use your imagination and build these things. Put that smartphone down or if there's any dads watching this, get your kids to build these things and occupy their minds. I know it's been raining the last like four days in a row here in Pennsylvania, so that is the perfect time to do this. And if anybody's made it this far in the video, I appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching. And now you'll see some time-lapse photos I took of restoring that one and building this one. I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry it's not a tutorial, but I think from the pictures you'll get the idea. And once again, thank you for watching. Have a good night. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.